Now I am continuing with another kind of noun. I said we are doing nouns this time and there are many kinds of noun. We have done proper nouns and we have done common nouns. Now we will do collective nouns. We will do collective nouns. Collective nouns. What are collective nouns? Collective noun is a name given to a collection of persons or things taken together, spoken as a whole. So, collective noun is the name of a collection of persons or things spoken together as a whole. So, when you say when you see a group of lion, then you will say it's a pride of lion. Name given as a whole to that particular group. So we have a whole lot of collective nouns for various things, persons, animals, bird, and that's what we are going to do. It's very interesting, but we need to have a whole lot of practice. So a collective noun is a name given, the name given to a collection of persons or things together as a whole. Okay. Now, when you say group name, see now, when I say a pride of lion, one lion, yes, a pride of lion. When you, suppose you went to into the zoo or you went to the forest, and the guide said, look at the pride of lions. Or you can say, a pride of lions attacked a deer. Group. A group of lions together we say, a pride of lions. Okay. So that's a group name given to the lion. Pride. Pride of lion. Next. People. When you see big gathering of 100,000, 10,000 people. So instead of that, use a single word, crowd. Group name given to people. When you see large gathering, you say a crowd of people. A crowd. You say a crowd of people. Collective noun. A name given to the group of people. Crowd. Lions. Right. Okay. Then, birds. What will you say for birds? Birds. You will say a flock of birds. Flock. Flock of. It's a group name. They are giving a name. Group name for birds. You cannot say, I saw 20 birds. No. You say, a flock. I saw a flock of birds. I saw uh, 50 people together. Say, a crowd of people. Next, the group name for trees, a clump of trees. So all these collective nouns, when you are writing a paragraph, when you are writing something, all these will help you in your actual writing. Okay, so a clump, a clump of trees, clump of. Trees, group name for clump of trees. Next, hay. You see bundles of hay. So you say stacks. A stack of hay. A stack of hay. S T A C K. A stack of hay. What are we learning? Group names for these. That's called collective noun. Group name, okay? A collection of person thing, a group name. Now, we are talking about directors, a board of directors, yes, a board of directors, a board of directors, a board of directors. Next, an army of soldiers or a squad of soldiers, an army, 
an army an army of soldiers so you got board of directors army of soldiers and i'll give you some more eight one we'll say i'll pile of books or a library of books a pile of books a pile of books you can also say a library a library of books we can also say a squad of soldiers library pile soldiers then we can say a choir of singers a choir a choir of singers we can also say a choir of of angels then you can say a shoal of fish a shoal of fish fish fishes all same now what are we looking at collective noun group name given to certain things the group name for lion we'll say proud pride you won't say i saw 10 lions i saw 100 people i saw instead of that in your writing collective noun help you you will say a pride of lions i visited the forest and the guide showed me pride of lion that means a large group of lions or you can say a pride of lions i saw a pride of lions attacking a large bull like that writing helps you crowd when you see the crowd large crowd crowd of people mob of people then group name given to bird when you see a large number of bird flying in the sky you can say a flock of birds passed by then group of trees in the forest or in your garden or in your orchard you have large number of trees together so you say clump of trees then hay you pile up hay in a lorry then you will say a large stack of hay was piled in the stack of hay was put into the lorry directors number of directors you will say a board of director large number a board of directors came to came for the exam or checking then soldiers group of soldiers number of soldiers together you say army of soldiers or you can also say a squad of soldiers when you are writing then books you can either say Oh, there is a pile of books, or you can also the library of books. In the library, there will be large pile of. Books. So, group name for books, library of books. Then, when you have a good number, big number of singers, you will say, oh, there was a choir of singers, choir. Even angels, when you are large gathering, you will say, choir of angels. Large number of fish, you will say, shoal of fish. He caught a shoal of fish. last evening in the net so these are group names for things people singers fish group name for people group name for animals group name for birds group name for trees hay soul the group names that is called a collective noun now collective noun you have learned today and now we also must learn to identify collective nouns in a sentence and that we will do in the next exercise we are trying to learn collective nouns a group name a people animal bird all that now we did a little bit but for practice i will give you few sentences and you will help me to circle the collective noun identify recognize and we will circle the collective nouns in the sentences 
that the I will put up to you. Okay? Now, first one, a gaggle, a gaggle of geese was found in the lake, was found in the lake. In the lake. So you keep reading and identify. My album of photos, my album of photos got lost. Alpha photos got lost. Next, a bale of cotton, a bale of cotton fell off the truck. Bale of cotton fell off the truck. A crowd of men, a crowd of men gathered in the street, gathered in the street. He took a pack of cards, he took a pack of cards, he took a pack of cards out to play, A clump of trees, a clump of trees were cut down. An army of soldiers. marched in the field. Now, I have seven sentences for you and what we are going to do is, we are going to circle out the collective noun, the group noun name of things. Okay, A gaggle of geese was found in the lake. Group name for geese, gaggle. So, you have your word gaggle of geese, that is a group name, that is a collective name given for a number of geese together. Okay? So, one collective noun we identified. My album of photos got lost. Album. Album contains number of photos. So, a, a number of photos. So, a collection of photos, we call it an album. So, we got another collective noun here. A bale of cotton fell off the truck. Now, the collective noun name for cotton is bale. When you have number of bundles to kill, say, you will say, you won't say one box of cotton, bale of cotton. Number of men, people together you call, the group name is crowd. So, a crowd of people gathered, crowd of men gathered in the street. Then you have here. He took a pack of cards out to play. Now, number of cards together, a pile, we call it a pack. We call it a pack of cards. The group name for trees, if you have lots of trees, a clump of trees were cut down. Clump is the group name for trees. Soldiers, 
the number of soldiers together. You won't say 100 soldiers or 500 soldiers. You say an army of soldiers. So, these are the group names of soldiers. Army, for trees you say clump, for cards you say pack, for people you say crowd, cotton you will use the word bale, photos you use album, for geese you call gaggle. So, these are the group names and collective nouns from the sentences we were able to identify. So, the collective nouns are gaggle, album, bale, crowd, pack, clump and army. Now, I will give you another set of sentences for us to identify the collective nouns. A gang of thieves. A gang of thieves entered the house. Next, a herd of elephants. Herd of elephants destroyed the farm. An army of soldiers, an army of soldiers, an army of soldiers. Rescued the people. He lost. He lost a bunch of keys. He painted. He painted. Painted a chain of hills. A flight of birds, a flight of birds at up. All the grains. Now, look at the sentences we have here. Let's identify, let's learn to look at the collective nouns in these sentences. A gang of thieves entered the house. The group name for thieves, gang. So, you have here gang. Collective noun for name for thieves is a gang of things. You won't say five thieves or two thieves. You say a gang of thieves. Even if it's two, you can say a gang of thieves. A herd of elephants. Group name for elephants. A herd of elephants. So that is the group name, collective name. Now, an army of soldiers. Army of soldiers rescued the people. He lost a bunch of keys. Collective, lots of keys together. We say it's a bunch of Name for the key, collective noun is bunch. He painted a chain of hills, number of hills together. Chain of hills he painted. A flight of birds at flight, large number of birds came at up all the grain. Now, group name, collective nouns we identify. For birds you will say flight of birds, hills you will say chain of hills, keys you will say bunch of keys, soldiers you will say army of soldiers. Elephants, you will say a herd of elephants or a herd of cattle, gang of thieves. Now, look at the sentence again. Let's read together. Collective nouns. We are looking at the underlined words gang, herd, army, bunch, chain, flight. All these are collective nouns. A gang of thieves entered the house. A herd of elephants destroyed the farm. 
an army of soldiers rescued the people. He lost a bunch of keys. He painted a chain of hills and a flight of birds ate up the grains. So now we know how to identify collective nouns. We have done so far nouns, common nouns, proper nouns and collective nouns. So to make ourselves remember these, we have to practice. I will give you one more group of uh, sentences for you to identify the collective nouns. Our team, our team won the match. We saw, we saw a fleet of ships. We saw a fleet of ships in the harbor. The ship, the ship has, the ship has a crew of sailors. A swarm of bees, a swarm of bees flew into the hive. The team found, the team found Him guilty. The police, the police dispersed the mob. A flock of sheep, a flock of sheep was seen in the field, was seen in the field. Now here we have seven sentences for us to identify and mark out which is the Collective noun. Collective noun is a group noun. Now, our team won the match. Team, a group of people playing a match. We call them what? Team of people. Okay. Our team won the match. So, team is a collective noun. We saw a fleet of ships in the harbor. Group name for ship is fleet. A fleet of ship. Group name for ship. So, fleet is a collective noun. The ship has a crew of so sailors. The group name for sailor is a crew. We don't say one sailor or two, group. A group of, a crew of sailors. A swarm of bees flew into the hive. Into the hive. Bees, when you see number of bees together, you say a swarm of bees. It's a collective noun for number of bees together. The team found him guilty. Again, uh, there was a team there. The team found the person guilty or whatever they did, he did. The police dispersed the mob. Mob is a collective name, noun for a group of people. Now, a flock of sheep was seen in the field. Number of sheep, together you say flock. Now, we can say flock of birds, a flock of sheep. Now, 
look at our sentences. Our team won the match. Team is the collective noun. We saw a fleet of ships in the car, in the harbor. Fleet of ships. Fleet is the collective noun. A ship has a crew of sailors. So the number of sailors together we call it crew. Crew is the collective noun here. A swarm of bees flew into the hive. Swarm of bees is the collective name for the bees. So swarm is a collective noun. The team found him guilty. So team is a group of people. They found someone guilty of something. The police dispersed the mob. Mob can be number of, it can be people, men, women, children, anybody. The large gathering of people, we call it mob. Mob is a collective noun. And finally, a flock of sheep was seen in the field. Group name for sheep is flock. So flock, team, swarm, team, fleet, crew, mob. All these are collective nouns, group names.